Someone may have done you wrong in the past. And you may say, Kevin, I am not going to forgive that person because for one, that person really hurt me. That person really changed my life by the pain they put me in. So I am not going to forgive that person. Then also, <clears throat> also you may say, Kevin, if I forgive that person, what that person is going to do, let's call that person Billy. Kevin, if I forgive Billy, Billy is just going to continue doing the same things to me every time when I forgive Billy. I think it is true. If you do forgive Billy, there may be a very large chance Billy will continue doing you wrong. But the thing about it, we are commanded to forgive. We are commanded pretty much to do good to those who give us a hard time. What you don't understand, or maybe you do understand, we are going to reap what we sow. Whether you see it or not, it doesn't matter. And also, the person who did you wrong, I would say, that that person is not going to be the only one that will do you wrong. So what are you going to do? Are you going to hold unforgiveness for every single person that has done you wrong? Are you? That makes absolutely no sense. Um, today, I may post this video sometime in the future, but today I had a dream about particular people. And with these two particular people, I felt like they did me wrong. And I believe I have forgiven them. But for whatever reason, I had a dream about them. And I believe the demons, which I don't think it is God, but I believe the demons try to, I guess, get me to hate those people or have some type of resentment or something against those people. And then I believe, too, that I started to feel those particular feelings that I would feel against them. So in essence, I believe demons were trying to get me in unforgiveness against those people. Try to, I believe those demons try, which I believe they were demons. I believe those demons were trying to drag me to unforgiveness. And um, when I woke up, I believe I dreamed about some other things too. When I woke up, I think it took time for me to realize I was dreaming. Listen now. Your enemy can treat you wrong every day. I am not saying that it is good for that to happen, but they can do it every day. And what your job is, is to continue doing what is right and forgive them. 
you may think forgiveness is for them and I would say yes but ultimately I believe forgiveness benefits you more than them because if you don't forgive how can you get into heaven and then also you have to understand too if you do people wrong and you want mercy shouldn't you be merciful to other people as well i believe so for instance if can't really think of a good example let's say that let's make an extreme example maybe not so extreme let's say that uh everyone who lends me their car let's say for an example i get into car wrecks in everyone's car and let's say that uh and and let's say that i want mercy from the people who owns the car okay and let's say that all those people show me mercy okay now let's say that someone drove my car and got into a car wreck now let's say that i began yelling and screaming and all this stuff here now would that be right now with those people who i wrecked their cars They showed me mercy. They were forgiven to me. But when someone wrecked my car, send that person to jail, fine them. Like, do whatever you have to do to get that person to pay and whatever else. That is wrong. How can you ask for something that you aren't willing to give? Kevin, I want mercy, but I don't want to be merciful. You are wrong. You are very much wrong. And shame on you. If someone is willing to forgive you, to show you mercy, tell you to forget about it, okay. If someone does the same thing to you, you you are you have to forgive. You have to show mercy to that person. You have to. There is no if and or about it. You have to. Let me stop here. May God bless you.